But before um, starting using the plugin, this is the, the 3D model we are going to work with. It is based on the famous um, Azuma house, right? And actually, this comes from the tutorial, from the brand new tutorial of my colleague uh, Saki Basis. So uh, just uh, take a look of the, to that tutorial in case that you want to improve your uh, modeling uh, techniques, uh, skills with, with Rhino. But anyway, this is the model. And uh, I wanted to say that uh, the models, um, I mean, it has a lot of layers and, and a lot of uh, annotation, uh, annotation stuff and so on and so forth. And before we start with the life cycle assessment, we have to clean the model. So I would recommend uh, before cleaning the model and uh, actually to close the one Eagle CA plugin. So you just have to click on the gear wheel here and you have to deselect one Eagle CA. When we change and save a Rhino model, if we have the plugin active, these changes are going to be saved uh, into the plugin and that will be relevant when we want to save the material mappings and so on, but uh, that's not happening yet. And second, that if we have the plugin active all the time, um, when we start Rhino again, it's going to take up like perhaps uh, five additional seconds until it loads the database. So uh, yeah, we might uh, not want to use the, the, the plugin for all our projects. So that's the reason why I prefer to keep it hidden until we actually start with the lifecycle assessment. So we have opened our starting file, right? Our starting 3D model. Let's assume that this is the end of the conceptual phase, right? We have the, the complete 3D model and we can see that, well, of course we have this, <laughs> this person here that we are not going to use for the lifecycle assessment. So of course we want to get rid of that. But uh, what I wanted to say is that the, the walls are modeled with the actual thickness. So we have a lot of 3D objects that uh, we can use to automatically calculate the uh, quantities of our model. But first, as I said, we have to clean up this model and we have to do three things. First, we have to uh, sort the layer structure, right? Because when we export our data to the plugin, we this data needs to follow the this same structure. So that's the first thing, the layer uh, structure. The second thing is that um, we need closed uh, volumes is possible or, or even surfaces, but uh, sort, sort it by, by layers, of course. And in this case, we can see that we click here. And of course, when this model was created, uh, they were not thinking that it was going to be used for a lifecycle assessment. And that's probably going to be the case with the first models uh, you come across. So in this case, uh, we should uh, split this object into different volumes, right? Perhaps we could get here, here two slabs and also we should uh, split this exterior wall as well. There are, I mean, this is not a Rhino modeling course, but there are some commands that you might uh, find useful, like the split command or also the cap holes command and probably the join command as well, right? To get uh, 3D volumes everywhere. And the last thing that we have to address with this, uh, let's say, a uh, rough model is the blocks. Because of course, okay, we have a, <laughs> a massive uh, group here. So what we should have to do is, of course, first to ungroup this. And now we get these blocks here, but we cannot operate with these blocks because what we actually need is the surface of these windows and this is a block. So what we have to do is to delete this block and uh, draw a surface instead. 